Hello clarinet players! In the last video, we learned how to get our clarinet ready to put together by putting cork grease on our end corks of our clarinet sections. In this video, we will learn how to put your clarinet sections together carefully and correctly. Place your clarinet case on the floor or place it securely on your lap with the lid on top. I've put mine up high so you can see what's going on in the video. Grab the bell with your right hand and the bottom of the lower body joint, that's the largest of the two body joints, at the end with the cork with your left hand. When you hold the bottom joint, place the smooth part of the body, that's where there are no keys or rods, in the palm of your hand. Press down any keys that are near your thumb or fingers before you attach that section to the bell. Use a gentle twisting motion to connect the parts. Do not rock the parts back and forth as this will cause a lot of damage to the ends of your clarinet sections. There's a name on the bell of your clarinet. Line up the center of the name with the long rod at the bottom of the bottom joint. Now, flip the clarinet around to change positions of the bottom section in your left hand. This will make it so the bell is facing away from you. Make sure you are still holding the clarinet in the same location in your palm on the smooth part. Don't forget to hold down any keys with your thumb and fingers. Carefully grab the upper joint with your right hand. The end with the bridge key, it's this little key right here, and the four small side keys, these right here, should be facing away from you. Place your hand about around the upper joint while pressing and holding down the middle key with your thumb. Notice how it raises up the bridge key. Make sure your thumb is pressing the center key so it lifts the bridge key up. This will allow the bridge key to go over the connecting key on the bottom part of the body joint. Caution! This connection between the two bridge keys is the most common point where students' instruments get damaged and bent. Great care should be taken when putting these two sections together. Gently twist these two sections together, lining up the bridge keys on the bottom and top body joints. Make sure that the top body joint bridge key goes over top of the bottom one. I'm holding my instrument upside down. Now, set your instrument's bell on your lap. Hold the top of the upper joint with one hand while gently twisting on the barrel joint. Notice there's two sides to the barrel joint. Skinny side, it won't work. Use the fat side. If your barrel joint has a name on it, line up the name with the keys in the front of the clarinet. Finally, hold the barrel joint with one hand and gently twist on the mouthpiece with the other. You are now ready to put the reed and ligature on the mouthpiece. Make sure your instrument is lined up the following ways. From underneath, line up the reed, that's the opening of your mouthpiece, with your register key, thumb hole. If you go from the top of the instrument, 
This is the part of your mouthpiece where your teeth rest. That should be lined up with the name on the barrel joint. Then all the keys. And finally lines up with the words on the bell. Here are a couple of items to remember when putting your instrument together or when taking it apart. Never rock the joints as this motion will cause incredible damage to your instrument. When you hold the instrument, do not wrap your hands around the keys while you're twisting. You want to keep yourself from bending the keys while you put the instrument together. When you're finished playing your clarinet, for the session, carefully take your instrument apart in reverse order. Wipe off the reed and place it carefully back in the reed case. Make sure you put each section carefully and correctly in the molds of the case. Be sure your instrument does not get damaged by careless assembly, disassembly, or incorrect placement in the case. After you can correctly and carefully put your clarinet together, you are ready to go to the next lesson. How to correctly hold your instrument. Now, I'm going to put the ligature on and the reed on, and I'll show you how the instrument looks lined up when everything is put together properly. Notice. My reed, screws, register key, thumb hole. Tooth placement goes on the top of the mouthpiece. The words line up to the keys, to the bell. Also notice. This top joint key right there is on top or overlays the bottom. So when you push the bottom, it actually makes the top one move by itself. Always be careful with those two joint keys.